everyone, we're back again for another Skit Twins podcast. I think at some point we should do a musical version. Hello and welcome to another yeah, Skit I, Twins podcast. I don't even... Yeah. Well, yeah, that was great. Well done. Thanks. I mean, just like, you know like sometimes you're in a mood and then anytime someone says a word, it just like sparks off a song in your head. I yeah. think we should do one and it just we just let that happen naturally. I mean, do we not normally do that anyway? Do we? I don't know. Hmm. Because whenever you said hello, I was like, hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, it's good to meet, see, meet you. Meet you? Oh, I well, I don't know. Hello. I say meet you because I find songs with C in them. Kind of like, do I sing them? Do I? Amazing Grace. Mm. Yeah, that one always gets me if we do it in church or whatever. It's just like, was blind, but now I see. And it's kind of like... Just gonna leave that bit out. But spiritually. I know, but still, I just find it a wee bit like, mm hmm. Really? Going, going back to a wee bit earlier, uh, Justin, aka Mr. Tumble, is class. I want oh, to meet, he is. He I want to meet him someday. Like, presenting goals. I'd love to do a show like that. Can we swap sides? It's weird. Yeah, yeah. right enough, because. And yeah. also, I can. We were on the wrong side. side. Um, but yeah, how are you, lovely listeners? Great. Good. That's class. Fantastic. Um, alternatively, um, sorry, no. I think you're gonna get better. Chin up, it's only uphill from Charge here. Charge the mountain, no, not uphill from here. That's bad, that's like a struggle. Yeah, it's all downhill it's, from here, but then that's bad because that means like you're flying. No, but is Death. that what, yeah, <laughs> isn't that what they say? It's like, yeah. oh, you things, went downhill things there. can only go up from here. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, there we go. It'll, it'll be okay. So, last Sunday, we did a triathlon. That was fun. I'm, I, I. The swim I'm, was not fun. That's what I was going to say. I always forget about the swim. People are like, how did it go? I'm like, it's fine, yeah. Then I'm like, oh, I swim. And you see, you always say it's fine. And I'm like, um. <laughs> but yeah, the swim wasn't great because we're not overly used to open water swimming. I'm just not very good at swimming. And open water swimming's a lot different from swimming in a swimming pool because you can't see the bottom. Well, and you you've can't, got... You can't see anyway. Yeah, well... Ah. Nah, 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 nah. And then you've got things floating past you that's sort of like, was that a wee bit of... Was that... Poo? Was... Oh! I didn't see any floaters. I didn't see anything I floating. saw quite a few floaters and I was like, but I am not okay. That's because I didn't put my face in the water. I had a proper full-on panic attack, like, ten metres in. <laughs> going, I can't do this! I can't do it! I don't want to do it! But I managed to swim the foyer around with my head above the water using, like, well no fired. technique. <laughs> So I think I'll be all right with swimming. You know, I could do seven hundred, eight hundred meters with no technique. Yeah, my arms were burning. So the only way is up, my friend, with swimming. I was promising the guy in the kayak my wetsuit if I drowned. He was a cool guy. If anyone, if anyone knows who the kayak guy was, <laughs> <laughs> the Belfast Titanic Triathlon, let him know. He's a cool guy. But other than that, it was good. Yeah, the bike was good and the run was good. The bike was really bumpy though. There was yeah. a lot of speed bumps. And the road I didn't like that. Yeah, like, it hurts. Because there's not much you can do with speed bumps. Yeah, like, really. Apart from speed bump, and then you sort of raise yourself slightly. But yeah, the bumps on the road were, uh, ow. Well, I don't know, Annie. Annie dodged most of the bumps on the road. Uh, you, you went well, but I think there was just one point, and it was just really, really bad. Yeah. But anyway, we finished. We finished in good time. We were beaten by Catherine Walsh, who competed in Rio. Yeah, so she's like a proper f professional. Yeah. It's like entering an art contest with Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's good. So second and third place and we have another triathlon in September. So that's fun. Maybe. We haven't signed up for it yet. Coach is trying to convince me and I'm kind of like, mm, maybe, <laughs> maybe I might do it. Because one of them's one of them's in Dublin, which I would be okay with because it's swimming in a river. In Tlifi. But I don't want to do the other ones in, in the sea. In the sea. And I don't want to swim out against waves. Like I'm pretty sure it's from like a pier into the sea. Oh or right, into okay. the into the shore. Uh, <laughs> Obviously it's from the pier into the sea. <laughs> that would make sense actually. That would yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes, that that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um in other news, ducks don't have teeth. Yeah. We we were at the cinema with some friends and cousins and stuff yesterday, and we were just sitting in the car, and then we were just sort of like, "Do ducks have teeth?" 
and there was no 4G or any like Wi-Fi or anything. First world problems. So we had to you know, just text a whole pile of our friends. Yep, because yes. I have friends and they all replied and they told me that ducks don't have teeth. Thank you very much, So you go. There's your knowledge. But I didn't cast you, you're not my friends. I, I'm joking. I'm j- I just, the first like five people that I found were the ones that got the text. So thank you for everyone who responded. If you have any other duck facts, that'll be... Yeah, just throw some facts our way. Yeah. Duck, no, it's puffins. Beaks change colour with the seasons. I don't know. No, they do. That was that was my fact. Oh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I think puffins are kind of cute. But I went to see Incredibles 2, which was it's a decent film, although one of the guys in it just reminded me of my triathlon coach and I just couldn't get it out of my head the whole way through it. Like I he was spent... speaking and I was like, you should have an Irish accent and just keep saying happy days. No, but that guy, the same character that you're talking about, I knew his accent from somewhere. Did you ever search it? No, but I'm pretty sure he was in The Simpsons. Do you have your phone with you now? No. Because mine is being used to record. Yeah, because we decided the sound quality was better. What was that eyebrow raised for? (laughs) Rude. My phone's being used. (laughs) We normally use my laptop, so... But yeah, Incredibles 2, good film. Good film. Highly recommend you watch it. Yeah. But watch watch the first one first, because... Are you going to (laughs) sneeze? Jill's going to sneeze, guys, so... Bless her in advance. Just everybody stop here and just sort of say, Bless you. It's going to happen at some point. But anyway, we only watched The Incredibles properly a few weeks ago. You can tell I'm going to sneeze. I can feel it. We only watched The Incredibles, like the first one, a couple of weeks ago, like properly. Because we've seen seen bits and pieces in in childhood, but I think it's gone. I don't think I'm going to sneeze. I sneezed in the the swimming pool yesterday and I nearly like took on water because you bring your head back and then whenever you sneeze, your head kind of goes forward. (laughs) And I was like, but if I go forward and sneeze, then like your first reaction after you sneeze is to breathe. And then, yeah. Sorry, we're just having a wee silent argument here about how close we are to the mics. All I'm saying is... My voice is always louder than yours, okay? And it makes me feel really it's self-conscious, It's really loud, Larry, okay? you, you, but you always shout into the microphone. No, even whenever I'm talking. Guys, tweet us on Twitter. Whose voice is always louder? Is it mine or Chloe's? Right. Okay. 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 Did I'll, anyone, put, I'll put up a poll. Did, did anyone tweet us? No. I've got to check that. Not uh, the last time I checked, which guys. was... Fine. We want to have some audience participation. Yeah. We just don't have that right now. It's fine. Only... Like, two other people listen, so we can't expect too much from people. Chloe. Yes? Do you prefer baths or showers? Showers. Why? Just because baths, you're sitting in your own dirty water. Like, (laughs) (laughs) like I'm not, like, even if you don't pee in the bath. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condoning peeing in the bath because that's filthy. What about, you know, pooping, pooping in the bath? I wouldn't even do what? <laughs> Why would you, you hear about? You have like, to pick it out then. You hear about Wayne's to... pooping in the bath. That's a code one on the swimming pool. If you ever hear code one being called, is it? What's pool, a code red? That's a poo. Um, code is code red not a fire? Oh, uh, maybe. I would have called it a code brown. <laughs> I know, but then that's a wee bit obvious. Like code yellow. <laughs> they could have called it a code two, because oh uh, yeah, because number two, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't but yeah, I prefer showers because, well, also I haven't had a bath in years. I don't, I don't know how people relax in baths. Like, you know the way people are like, oh yeah, just a glass of wine in the bath. Someone like, could walk in and you're just lying there naked <laughs> in a puddle no, of but water. That's, <laughs> <laughs> but that's why you have loads of bubbles in it. I know, but the bubbles eventually disappear. I, okay, true. Like, have you ever watched Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire <laughs> and Mona Myrtle the way, like, Peep and Tom? <laughs> I used to keep bringing the bubbles over and then when a murder's like the bubbles are almost gone and it's just like excuse me I think it would be really weird like is the prefect's bathroom not like a communal bathroom like yeah it's a big massive like uh, okay right okay whatever (laughs) okay (laughs) whatever Harry Potter um so yeah you prefer shower I also prefer showers but baths were fun as kids whenever we used to like mix up big jugs of shampoo and shower gel and soap and everything else we could find in the bathroom at the time to make potions. Yeah, that was fun. Did we ever, I feel like, no, we probably wouldn't have mixed like toilet cleaner and stuff in it. No, that's, we weren't that stupid. That's dangerous. Yeah, that's, yeah, okay. 
Northern Irish phrase of the week. Yep. I feel like I'm running this podcast this week. Yeah, because the page is beside you. I mean, you can move it. No. It's fine. Okay. Do you know the Northern... Or do you want to do the theme? June? Powerful together. It is, I. I suppose the phrase of the week is there, so it is. Powerful all together, so that's just sort of like... It was good. <laughs> it's, or it's bad. Yeah. It can mean anything. Yeah. It's just describing it. great. Or like putting great in something, I suppose. What do you mean? Like, that's great weather. Could be, like, generally positive or negative. No, it would be positive. I can't imagine that being negative. It's a great downpour of rain. Mm, yeah, I suppose. But powerful altogether. If it's sunny, you would go, ah, oh, it's powerful altogether. If it's pouring with rain, powerful altogether. Works yes. in everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you this because I feel like I'm being really bossy and sort of leading this too much. It's a bit awkward. Hold on, right. Hopefully this does not disrupt everything. There we go. Are we... Are we good? I think we've missed one or two. Yeah. What are you... What... Do you like walking? Walking? Yeah. Yeah, why? I mean, it gets you places. It's cheap. And it's good for you. I was going to say, I don't generally like it, but it's the only way I can get around. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'm like, yeah, let's walk to the bus. And then there's other times I'm like, do I have to? Basically, all last week you were like, I don't want to. Yeah, but I was tired. I just wasn't feeling it at all. Yeah. Look, I've moved this so that it's closer to me. It's pointing towards you, but it's closer to me so that it should be. But we should just, just get two mics. Um, yeah, so, no, well, like, walking is, like, basically our main mode of transport besides the bus. Yeah. But we have to walk to get the bus, and then we have to walk from the bus to get anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, rain, hail, or shine, we are walking outside. And it's, I mean, people would be like, oh, that's good for you, it's a nice wee workout. It's like, mm, but is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, walking's good for you, but... It's a while slow. So it's a glass of wine every now and then. What? Oh yeah, that's good for like your stress levels. Yeah. Or... I mean, vegetables are good for you, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just like all that sort of stuff. Vegetable soup's bogging though. Yeah, if it's not pureed, if it's like the vegetable broth, but like the chunks of vegetables. I think that should be advertised as vegetable broth. I think vegetable soup should be pureed. Yeah. Because, ugh, book. I think the nicest vegetable soup I had was at um, Singer's Wedding. The Anne Greenan. Yeah. Go I down was... there if you want nice soup. They also had wee baby tiny, like, loaves of wheat and bread. And you could just, it was like a wee, like, you know the way you get white bread rolls? It was like a wee loaf. Yeah, like, it was, wheat, like it was done in a wee mini loaf tin. Yeah. Oh, it was pure cute. I loved it. It was the best part of the meal. <laughs> Apart from the fact that we got ice cream instead of, like, cheesecake or whatever. Yeah. Good times, good times. That's what we always do. Yeah. It's like any wedding we're at. It's just like, trio of desserts. And it's just like, can we see instead of cream? See instead of the trio of desserts, can we just have ice cream? And like, nine out of ten times, you're like, oh yeah, that's grand. Cause Where was it? There was somewhere that we asked that and they were like, oh sorry, we don't do ice cream. And it's like, huh? <laughs> Excuse huh? me? Just run next door. There's a shop next door. Go get some ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, that's... How did we get from walking to soup? Just um, randomly change it. You talked about vegetables. Oh right, okay. Yeah. And see, it was just, it, it, it did kind of logically. Yeah, yeah. yeah it did. I think it's better just to not try and track it. Yeah, just sort of go with it. Yeah. That's generally what we do in this podcast, anyway. We yeah. Just, uh, oh look, there's a butterfly. Butterflies scare me. We went for a church picnic today, and I was like, oh, I couldn't sit still because I hate. We've already discussed how much I hate wasps and bees and buzzy things because. They all buzz and it's scary. And then a butterfly, I was just so on edge. A butterfly flew past and I jumped the height of myself. <sighs> it was a stressful afternoon, guys. Like, I used to be like you, but then I did summer scheme for like two summers. And whenever you have like 16 kids, like running around screaming because there's wasps there. And you have to be the adult of the situation and be like, guys, it's not going to hurt you. It's okay. Just stay still and it won't hurt you. It'll just buzz around you for a wee minute and then go away. Whereas like inside you're screaming. Yeah. Like they do just generally buzz around you and then they're like, you ain't a flower. 
and then they buzz away. Wasps, wasps are like just jerks. But do they not go to? They go to flowers too. Do they? To an extent, yeah. I used to so. think that bees made honey and wasps made jam. <laughs> I don't know why, because it was always like to catch bees, you put out a jar of honey or something, and then I saw something that was like to catch wasps, you put out a jar of jam, and then I was like, all right, so bees make honey and wasps make jam. That's okay, but it turns out the wasps are just pests. Yeah, and they do nothing apart from stingy and get angry so i'm sure they do something like nah. what do humans do <laughs> we just destroy things just we are each here other. to look after the planet we're just not very good we're at not it. very good at it yeah we suck we're, we're you know we're gonna go to mars soon and we're just gonna destroy it too and just yeah. be like whoops let's, recycle let's go to jupiter conserve energy and reuse things as much as you can and reduce your waste Okay, guys. Yeah. Be good. Should we apologise for the last podcast? I don't know how good it was, really. Like, we were just. We were of, pretty. We were half asleep whenever we did it, and we were yeah. just like, yeah, let's talk about trees. Did we talk about trees? I don't know. I quite enjoyed it, though. It was pretty chilled. Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty chilled, but we were lying down for that one. Yeah. Which was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't do it off, to be honest, but there well, we are. Yeah, expect more Donegal bed chats yeah but in like a clean way because that <laughs> get your minds out of the gutters guys you put them there um i directed them there i didn't i didn't tell them to go down there but you kind of i told them to get out of there if they were there you provided a slide <laughs> listen and who's gonna walk past the slide and not go down it let's be real <laughs> i don't know where that went but <laughs> down the slide um I've been reading a book series lately. I'm not even going to go into it, but there's parts in it, and it talks about it's it's an American based book, and that talks about snapping your chewing gum or like smacking your chewing gum. Mm-hmm. And every time I read it, I hear the noise, and it drives me mad. It disgusts me. Yeah, like I eat chewing gum. I eat chewing gum like nothing normal. But see, if I'm out in public, I try to not limit do it. limit chewing. Yeah, or like, if I know I'm going to be t- speaking to people, I'll spit it out and get rid of it. But just the idea of talking to someone being just why oh why would you do that? I don't know. Oh. Like yes, it keeps your breath fresh, but also like I don't want to see like stringy chewing gum stuck between yeah. your teeth. It's minging. sorry, that was just a random thought that came to me and I wanted to share it. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. We have a list of things but I just sort of yeah, we just it. sort of add things in. Um You are weird to be out sometimes. Well, like, whenever you think about people growing old. What do you mean? Like, my wee cousin is... Our wee cousin. Our wee cousin is 18, and she's driving. And, like, she's driving. Yeah. Like, like... <laughs> I remember her as, like, a wee three-year-old, like, two or three-year-old. Just getting like, potty trained. Getting potty trained, going down for naps and stuff. And now she's driving. Like, yeah. she used to sit in a plane for, like, like five minutes into the plane ride. She was, come on! Aww. Come on! For like a six hour plane journey. Yeah. Well, it wasn't. Good times. It was good, but also it was kind of like, go and be quiet now, please. I remember that time. That was around. That was whenever I got my portable DVD player and we sat and watched Thunderbirds. And you went to the and toilet, went to came the back, toilet and just sprinted back up the plane going, I can hear that from the front of the plane! And yeah. But, I mean, it was pretty loud. Although, to be fair, it was whenever the Thunderbirds were taken off. and Yeah. Flying and stuff. You know what they don't do in planes anymore? Movies? Yeah. Like, no, you know, we, get we, those... haven't, we haven't been on a long plane journey in a while. We went to Cyprus. True. But we weren't easy jet. They still have the screens. Do they? They just don't use them. Oh. Plane companies use the screens. But I also... can't see them, but also it's nice to tune in. Yeah. And sort of listen to it. Then you have to pay, like, how much do you have to pay for the special earphones that have the two plug things? You don't need your best earphones. Do you not anymore? No, not anymore. You're eating chewing gum. Stop trying to hide it. I am. Yeah. I haven't <laughs> chewed it yet. It's still like a full piece. It's just, it's burning under my tongue right now. <laughs> Why'd you put it in your mouth? Because it was in my pocket and it was just loose and I was like, you know what, I'll just put that in my mouth and it's burning under my tongue and I regret everything right now. <laughs> Chloe, would you like to tell everybody about what happened at church today? Oh, no. Right, we went to the choir. 
because apparently we have lovely singing voices and also the choir needs people and we were just there to make up numbers really and also the choir are like the best group of people they're great banter oh, like if you ever want the best banter in a church service go up to the choir because normally they're like either like they're out of the way over to the side so you know we get to whisper about the minister and stuff and just sort of but also we're kind of the best servant. buds about the with the minister yeah but anyway <sighs> There's this wee old man and he was behind me and there's this wee old lady and she was beside me. And bless their wee hearts. <laughs> they were singing their wee socks off. But they weren't the best singers. <laughs> but you know, no, but you know the way old people get the wee like vibrato in their voice? No. But it's just like but it's not it's not like opera singer like it's not good vibrato. Okay. It's sort of like old, old, old people vibrato. Because their voices are like this, so whenever they go to sing, then they just sort of go like this. <laughs> it's like it's like they're on like they put their head against the window of a bus. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <It's> a, <yeah. laughs> and sometimes they don't quite get the note the first time, so they either, they either slide up to it or slide into it. Yeah. And I mean, and then the guy behind me, like the, the wee woman beside me, she was decent enough. Like she, she got, she got ninety percent of the notes there, and she, you know, came off at the right time. But the man behind, he was keeping, he was all right, but he was he pronounced words weirdly, which I mean, fair enough if you're not paying attention to him and you're just sort of like reading it as you go, and then you see a word like righteous, you're like right to you oh and you're halfway through before you realize all oh, right it's righteous right go on right yeah but also he was righteous was a bad example for that yeah. because you already know what it's going to be whenever oh, you i can't right. remember what what was it what word was it like, i don't was remember it special no it wasn't specially i don't remember spirituality 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 yeah or something like that was something like that was funny um but anyway he he put his all into singing until he lost his breath and then he had to stop for a couple of <laughs> lines. <laughs> but whenever he was going for it, he was pronouncing all the words. And that means you pronounce your T's and your ST's and your SP's. And you know what that means? Spit. <laughs> and it was spit all down my neck and I was like I was at the front row of the choir and I was looking out to like the congregation just going help me this is awful and at one point I did have to wipe down my neck uh... I was like this is some old man's spit and yeah but then I started thinking I was like you know what could be worse as dentures could come out too <laughs> <laughs> no what got me was um in the final hymn we were singing I caught on to the way he was singing and it sounded like he was bleating like a sheep <laughs> <laughs> he was like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and it was like the third verse of the song and I just lost it and I just sat giggling behind my hymn book <laughs> I would have been like that if it had spit down my neck yeah okay fair but also he was trying to like you know the way whenever you're singing you sometimes sort of like tap your feet along to the yeah, beat. to the beat of the. He was trying to do that, but bless him, he was a couple. He was a couple of seconds out. Oh, <laughs> it, was, it was annoying me too because like it's like it was one of those floors where you could feel the vibrations mm -hmm. the way up, and I could just feel it. I was like, "You're not in tune, mate. You're, you're, not, not, in you're not in time. You're not in time. You're not in time. You're not time." Oops, that was your loop. But he also held the notes at the end for yeah, way too for long ages. too. He didn't. Like, he would have kept singing whenever the organ had stopped. It was yeah. just kind of like, why stop? Although in fairness, you do that too sometimes. Just to be like, yeah, look how long I can hold this note. It's usually just whenever it's a banger of a tune and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's just, so now I'm going to know every time you like the tune. Because you're going to hold the note forever. Yeah. Okay. You can also tell whenever I like, because I'm singing like really loud. Because I'm like, praise to the Lord. And then... Um, my voice breaks. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You're like pure felt and like, you're like, yeah! <laughs> and then you kind of have to stop and re readjust and just sort of go, okay. That happened to me today. We're good. We're good voice, yeah. Okay, we can go again. I think it was what a friend we right. have in Jesus and it was that really high <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> But every time that happens, I always go, ooh, afterwards. So that makes it worse. 
<laughs> because it's like everybody's singing, so like you're no one's you're gonna hear to it. Yeah. yeah, but I still always go, "Oops." <laughs> <laughs> yeah that yeah that happens i had a small breakdown this week if anyone follows me on twitter i don't know what i'm doing with my life i don't know what i'm doing with my life i want a job and everyone's complaining at me to get a job and i can't get a job and it's like but i want to do acting but how do i do that how 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 does that happen huh and then mum was like maybe you could go back and go to the tech and do another course and it's like but then i'll be sitting in a classroom full of like 16 year olds and learning things and I have to pay to go back to tech or whatever and, and and that costs money and I won't be earning money and then mum's like if you could just get a part time job that could pay you through and it's like the problem is I can't get a job yeah, <laughs> anyway it kind of sucks I'm but... fine now it's all gonna work out it's funny though because we were looking on time hop and she had a similar breakdown last year the exact same time. day <laughs> but hey you know what got through it i'm still here i haven't been taken to the crazy house yeah so if you do have any jobs any contacts with bbc sky i'll even take you know Alger, Al, 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 <laughs> alba no the it's like al and then it's like jazeera al jazeera that one i'll take something in tg4 or, or tv3 yeah anything Just, yeah it's tv I'll, I'll present things. Like, I'll do like, I'll like be like, buy this air fryer for only one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. You can fry some chips, but it has like less oil in it, and it fries it with air and chips. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, I think I would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> what else do we have written down? We have school written down. Oh, do we do we really want to talk about school? Mm, I was just I was thinking of stuff and I was like we could talk about, but I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, primary school. Primary school was class best time ever. It was great. I, I love my primary school. How stable is your mental piece? Because I'm leaning on it quite a lot. I hope it's stable. That's cool. Okay, anyway, strong, strong and stable. Um, primary school. It was really good. I loved primary school. It was class. Good friend. Good friends. Good banter. You learn things. Got to watch Titanic, except for that wee scene. In with, the car. In the car. Yeah. I think we skipped that one. Pretty sure we did. Yeah. But I think everybody knew it was coming up. Everybody had seen Titanic before and it was like, Miss, did we not miss out the bit with the car? Whenever it was really warm in the car. Yeah, we missed that bit out. Why? What were they doing in that car? It doesn't matter. It's nothing to do with the film. But Miss, what were they doing? Doesn't matter. But Miss, Johnny, sit down. It's funny because there was a boy called Johnny in our class. He was cool. Um, but yeah, whenever we got to secondary school, things went a little downhill. I like the teachers. I like most of the teachers. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. <laughs> we survived. We'll maybe talk about it some other time. Yeah. I don't think now is the time or the place. We don't want to be a negative Nancy. <laughs> negative Nelly. Negative Nelly. We're a Debbie Diner. Debbie Diner. De Why is it girls' names for the negative ones? I don't know. Because, like... What's wrong I with don't Danny? Know. Danny Nick. Diner? Negative Nick? I was going to say negative Nicholas. Well, yeah. Negative Neil. Yeah. See? Don't be a negative Neil. Yeah. See, it works. Negative Neil. Why do you... It just sounds weird. Why? I just, I've just gone into this accent yeah. just from saying it. Um, well, I don't think that girls should be seen to be the negative people. Where did that come from, though? Like, it... You just have to say, don't be so negative. You don't have to say, don't be a negative Nelly. I don't know, I heard it on a Dave Elliott podcast and I quite liked it. Okay. But I just don't like that Debbie Downer's a thing as well. I think there should be at least one male and one female. Be a positive Polly. Be a positive Paul. Positive Paul. Be an optimistic Oliver. <laughs> I like optimistic Oliver. Aww. Optimistic Olivia. I prefer Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, feminists. Be a... Be a um, cautious Chloe. Be a belter of a Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be a thing. You know the way you do icebreakers. It's like my name is Judith and I like jumping. Yeah. I think it should be like, "Hi, I'm a jolly Judith." <laughs> <laughs> you be a jolly Judith. Just spat on me. I like to spit because I'm trying to be like your man from church. Yeah. No. Don't. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. Forgive me. 
You're forgiven. I Under my you. tongue still burns. <laughs> True and fault. You brought it on yourself. I brought this on myself. Have you ever been... <laughs> I want to try and make a story up, about, or like not, like not make a story, make a scenario where like I get to use the phrase bounce your eyes just because I think it's so funny. Such a good phrase. I had a really good idea last night for a story and I was like, I need to add that in somewhere. But I can't remember what it was. But I thought about it. It was like, it was just like one line or like conversation with someone. And like, like you know, like a two person conversation where, and, and I a dialogue. had a dialogue. That's the word I was, thank you. A dialogue. And I thought it was really funny. I really should have written it down. Bounce, bounce your eyes is basically another phrase, another way of saying like, avert your eyes or look away. <laughs> but you have to say it in American accent. You have to say, bounce, bounce your eyes. <laughs> so, you know, that's your, that's your, what, challenge this week? Try and get, try bounce and say your that. eyes into conversation somehow. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, I'm going to change for the, for the swimming pool now. Bounce your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird doing it, changing from your normal accent. Yeah, true. <laughs> That'll draw more attention to it. But. Bounce your eyes. Bounce your eyes. It just doesn't sound right, though, if you say bounce your eyes. Bounce your eyes. It sounds really threatening. <laughs> bounce. Bounce your eyes. It sounds like you're telling someone to hit their face off the ground. <laughs> bounce your eyes, yeah? Bounce your eyes. Yeah, it sounds all right in an English accent. But Northern Irish is one of those accents that the quieter it is, the more angry it sounds. Yeah. Because you hear shouting going, Hi, boy! Would you stop that? And then you go, Hi, boy. You stop that. But you could say anything though. Like you could be like, "Have you ever been cow tipping?" And then, but if you just go lower and you sort of, "Have you ever been cow tipping?" <laughs> <laughs> it's too true. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know where the toilets are? Do you know where the toilets are? <laughs> but it's. I think it's the eyebrows. The eyebrows too. too. If the eyebrows are up, you sound happier, and if the eyebrows are down, you oh, sound a wee bit more. The, the eyebrows have to sort of go up and down though, because if they're just constantly up there, you're just gonna be like. <laughs> really surprised. I don't know where. Do you know where the toilets are? So toilets here? No way. Whereas if you have it, you're just like, I know there's toilets here. Where are they? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think. North I think yes, in Northern Ireland, Northern Irish people have to raise their voices. But I reckon if they went like to England or anywhere like that, they they wouldn't have to raise their voices. Yeah. They'd, they'd, just, they'd have to get quieter. Just like imagine a group of like, like a group of like English children in a school, just like messing around. Like teachers, like, come on, class, settle down, settle down. <laughs> it's like Northern Ireland, Northern Irish teacher walks in, right? And everyone will be like, what? Yeah, sit down. No, no. <laughs> I think it sounds better in Belfast. I think Belfast sounds more threatening. Than just sit down. No, I, think, I think it was maybe better whenever Wayne knew what the tr troubles were as well. Because they'd hear the accent and just be like, oh! <laughs> Would Wayne have known though? Probably not. Teenagers maybe, but yeah. not like... I don't think everybody here knows about it still. Like, people just yeah. don't forget about it. Like, go and just forget about it. Like, don't, well, don't forget about it, but like, move on from it. Like, yeah. We don't need this kind of negativity. Let's move on. Brush it under the carpet and just like, start fresh. Turn over like, a new tree yeah i was gonna say a leaf but i think we need bigger than that yeah look at us we could run storming i was gonna say turn over a new flag <laughs> to be honest <laughs> it's the same flag to the same on the other side chloe <laughs> you have to tell you this darn it oh we know they're a bit backward backwards yeah maybe that's what we did northern irish is northern ireland is a bit backwards, backwards yeah. <laughs> but Do you know th there's, there's a story that sort of popped up this week yeah it did a bit yeah, and uh, I want I want you to share it with the podcast just so it's set in stone forever. Okay. Um, so would you like to tell us the story of the baby born body warmer incident of two thousand and four? Are we saying? To, are we going with two thousand and four? Two thousand and three, maybe. Okay. Well, all I know is that we must have been about. I'm gonna say nine or ten, maybe. Yeah. Oh, it was two thousand and four then. Okay, let's say nine or ten, and we were tidying our room upstairs, and there was a pile of dolls' clothes. And there was a purple baby born body warmer. And I was like, Chloe, do you think I could like fit into this body warmer? And Chloe was like, No uh, way, you wouldn't fit into it at all, Judith. I think that's really rude. I'm really offended. No, but I was like, well, That's basically what I said. I was yeah. like, No, you wouldn't fit in it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I was like, 
no, you know what? I'm going to try and fit in this baby born body warmer. So I got it up to just below my elbows. I think you got it above your elbows and that's how it got stuck. Yeah, you uh, can get it over your elbows. Oh, okay. So I must have got it above my elbows and I pulled on one arm and then I got the other arm in. And then I realised... With a bit of difficulty, you yeah. got the other arm in, but you were determined to get it on. <laughs> At which point I realised I had made a huge mistake. <laughs> because my arms were now... Like, essentially handcuffed behind my back. At the elbows. At the elbows. <laughs> my shoulders were pulled back. And I was like, Chloe, I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't get out. Chloe, I can't get it off. I remember that. I was so weak. <laughs> Me, I think I nearly peed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Me, panicking, thinking, this is how I'm going to live out the rest of my life. I'm going to have to learn how to write backwards. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, Chloe was no help to me, so I ran downstairs, which actually, now I think about it, was really dangerous with my hands I managed to get downstairs after you, but it was after I managed to compose myself enough to get up. I ran into the kitchen, and there was tears streaming. I was in such a state by this point. I was crying, and just going, Oh, my help me! Um, and was like, oh. To be fair, I th- I did try to help you, but I was just so weak that I could... <laughs> and, then I could- and then I got it as far as your elbows, and then you started saying it was sore, and yeah. I didn't want to hurt you. Because I think it was as it went over my elbow bones. Elbow bo- like it, you must have scraped it, and then they must have yeah. swollen or whatever, and it was kind of cutting off the well, circulation. Probably cut off the circulation, well. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, got into the kitchen, was like, Oh, we help me, I'm stuck. She's like, right, calm down, what happened? I tried to get baby more body warmer on, and now I can't get off. And then I sort of waddled and turned right. At which point, I'm pretty sure mum probably started wetting herself laughing. I think dad was there too. Yeah. I'm 90% sure dad was there too. Was me crying, mum and dad probably trying not to laugh. Chloe standing in the kitchen doorway, on the floor probably, <laughs> laughing. And mum was like, it's okay, Judith. I'll get it. It's fine, calm down. And then she was trying to calm me down while also trying not to laugh. Yeah. And and trying to get it off. <sighs> she got it off, folks. That's the main thing in this story. Like, she got it off. Did you cry whenever you got it off? Was it sore coming off? Do you remember? I don't. Know. I remember. I felt so relieved whenever she got it off. And I was just like, <gasps> "Thank you, Mommy." And then Mommy laughed even harder. Then, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm not doing that again." I'd love to have a story from my childhood that I could laugh about, but the only thing I can remember right now is third birthday, like, and it was the first time we were allowed to cut the cake, and we were cutting the cake, and I got a wee butter knife. We had wee sort of like bronzy coloured butter knives, and I held the knife upside down, and there's photographic evidence of me holding this butter knife upside down on a telly tubby cake. Number one, as also as well as that, I was about to cut into Poe. Poe was my favourite telly tubby. What in what in my mind said, you know what, I'm just gonna maybe Poe was gonna, going first. <laughs> maybe you were gonna try and cut round him. Maybe. But I just I remember all I the main thing I remember about that is um without naming names, one of our aunties thought it was absolutely hilarious. hilarious. She didn't she didn't even like say to me. Like she she could have just turned the knife the right way around. But no, she had to announce it to the entire table. Yeah. And I was sort of like, all right, okay, it's upside down. I remember feeling a wee bit annoyed about that because she was like peeing herself laughing. I'm pretty sure I cried. Could you not have left the table? (laughs) Me three-year-old me just like, I don't want that telly tubby cake anymore. My auntie laughed at me. I was wearing my good dress too. Yeah. Twin dresses. Yeah. We three today badge on. Yellow with blue writing. I was going to say that's a really good memory you have, but also photographs. (laughs) Another one of, it's something I think about a lot. You know whenever you can't sleep? Yeah. And your brain's like, let's replay every stupid <gasps> thing you've ever done. I always think about that whenever I was on holiday and I was learning to swim and Daddy kept on walking backwards through the pool and then the pool got really crowded and Daddy was like, just swim towards me. And then I started swimming and then I couldn't find Daddy and then I needed a breath and my feet couldn't touch the bottom so I grabbed onto this man and I was like, yeah. And he turned around and looked at me and he was covered in tattoos and I was like, Aah. I hid in the baby pool for three days. <laughs> Three days, I sat in the baby pool and did not touch the big pool <laughs> for fear that that man was going to come and hold me under the water or something because I had jumped on him. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure he didn't mind. No, the one I think about was um, mum and dad had been, no, we'd been left at Granny Hutchinson's and mum and dad were away and then they came to lift us and they had stopped in, in the shop and got ice creams for everybody and um, our cousin was there and so they got ice creams for 
us and our cousin and I was like I'll carry to you inside and then I was going through the yard and then my cousin was like there's wasp in your hand and I threw the ice cream to the ground and ran <laughs> I, I always think about it because he he laughed and then I was like here you can have my ice cream because I threw one down and he was like no it's okay and then I think mum gave like gave one of her ice like her ice cream to one of us yeah but I think about that all the time. I feel so bad that I like there was no need to throw you the ice just, cream. You to should the just message him at some point. And just be like, do you remember that time? <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't even know what hand. Like he didn't say what hand there was a wasp, but I couldn't see it. I just clearly went, oh, "What's that hand?" <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So I've al- I've always had a fear of bees and wasps. Yeah. So. And then today you and Daddy and Mum kept taking the mick out of me for jumping the height of myself. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, well, we've already discussed it. Whenever you've been with a pile of wains that are terrified. I'm okay whenever we... The way your mum looked, at, looked after I was okay whenever there was ones in the living room or whatever. Whenever she was here, I was like, it's fine. It's just in the window. It's all right. Yeah, like, you're fine if there's someone more scared than you are. Yeah. Or like you think is inferior and more yeah. scared. When you have to not, not, that I'm, not that I'm saying you're inferior. I'm just saying I'm kind of used to the buzzing now. Yeah. It's like... And your your room was overcome by bees. I think yeah. that kind of probably helped. But yeah, I whenever, still don't like it, but... Like yeah, whenever, you, whenever you have to be the brave one, I think that kind of helps. But. Yeah. I don't always have to be the brave one, and that's the one. I think that's the one thing that scares me. Well, everyone says like it's always like you have a f- like everyone has like one thing that they're really scared of, but is that really true? I think everyone's a bit no. scared of a lot of things. Yeah, like everyone's scared of like death, unless you're like like you can lie. I think you can lie and say you're not afraid of death, but I think deep down everybody is. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of dying. Yeah, like that's what I mean, or like. They're afraid of I think everyone's... their loved ones getting injured. Yeah. I don't know, I think that's pretty... I think it's just... Okay. It's all sort of morbid things that people are scared of almost. I think, I think most people, I mean, if not all... have got rational fears. No, I, I think most people, if not all, are afraid of heights. But just two different, like, different levels. Some, yeah, I was going to say, some people, some people take that fear and change it into excitement. Yeah. Whereas but I think other people take be, that fear and just... It wouldn't be normal to be standing on top of something at the edge of a building and not feel a bit sort of like, ooh... Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a wee bit sort of like, if I fell here. Yeah. But, I mean, I suppose it sort of comes with trusting yourself like, or whatever and being like... I think fear can just be controlled. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Like, you control, you can control your fear and, like, turn it into something constructive so that you're not just, like, frozen in fear. What could I change my scare fear of bees and stuff into that would be constructive? You could be frozen in fear. <laughs> Rather than running a mile, and I don't run a mile. I run about five meters, <laughs> unless I fall. And you me. duck and dive and weave. But that's what loses you. If you just run straight, it's like World War Two tactics. <laughs> you or dodge run ball. zigzags, won't catch you. But just just stay still. Cover your ears because no. you don't hear the buzzing. No, but if you stay still, it'll land on you. I know it'll land on you for like a second, and then it'll go away. Uh-huh. Like, they don't touch you unless you, like, pure bad at it. And if you run away, no, then but it's I just going to follow you because it's going to see movement. It's like, like, um, how bullfighters work. It doesn't have to be a red rag. It just has to, like, be moving. And bulls see it and they're like, that's a threat. I don't know. Running has never steered me wrong so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I, whenever I run, well, I, mean, I haven't you been don't, stung. You don't stay still. You, you've never stayed still. The one time you got stung, you leaned against a radiator. It was just so happened to be the same part of the radiator that the wasp was chilling at. Always look before you lean. <laughs> look before you lean. That's yeah. the title. That's the title. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That was before prize day and then I had to sit down for ages and it was like, not on my butt, but like just below my butt. Well, at least like it didn't swell. <laughs> Just it did a wee bit. One but... cheek bigger than the other. Imagine walking in front, walking up in front of all the people, and just like, hi. <laughs> the Botox is going in next week. <laughs> Why is it called Botox? Sounds so much like buttocks. <laughs> Pretty sure is it not? Is that not the chemical? Well, yeah, it is. But you yeah. know, Botox, buttocks. Maybe it was originally used on buttocks first. I'm gonna stop saying buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> your posterior. Look before you lean your buttocks. <laughs> Stop knocking my globe. Um, just elbowing it a wee bit. Globes are cool. 
I love globes. It's like the earth. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny that. <laughs> That's... Yeah. But I'm doing hand gestures asking Judith if we want to wrap it up. I just sort of so... did a wee tumble roll with my hands. <gasps> Mr. Tumble! And then I did like a wee sort of weird clap. Yeah, I was, was trying to simulate wrap it up but then I was like do you wrap it up in a box or would you just if you were wrapping something would you just go around <sighs> oh, I was a big massive yawn sorry if you yawn now blame Judith yeah at wee Judy <laughs> <laughs> that's me. like I yawned because of you I'm real sorry because of you I, I yawned oh, I was <laughs> halfway that. through a podcast <laughs> we're gonna do a musical one at some point even if it's just like a five minute one it's gonna happen it's gonna be a musical one yeah but yeah i think i think you're right i think that could probably do it um thanks very much for listening if you could please give us a wee like on soundcloud and a review um on itunes rate us five stars or four stars or three stars or two stars and and we might read it out yeah if you leave a nice review. say something nice or someone ask a said that um this is great i can't wait to hear more i saw that one so cheers whoever that was yeah thanks um We'll write down your name for next time and give you a wee shout out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, follow us on Twitter, which is probably where you find this because it's really only where we, where we share it now. Uh, I don't really use Facebook that much, but that's just generally because I don't use Facebook. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, we'll share it on Instagram and stuff as well. Skit underscore twins. Or skit under slash twins if you're a little bit different. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with being different, guys. Okay. Nothing wrong. Uh, give it a like if you're listening on YouTube and again, leave a comment. Uh, subscribe and I think most importantly, share it. Yeah. If you enjoy the podcast or any of the videos, share it with your friends, your family, your dog, your auntie, your minister. You know what you could do? Just grab your friend's phone and just subscribe to the podcast. If that you're listening be... to this like, and you have accidentally been subscribed to it or whatever, just, just do it to someone else. Yeah, pass just it on put them through the pain and misery of listening through us and then just share it just pass it on yep although hopefully you know we don't spread we don't want to spread misery we want to sh- like spread smiles spread smiles oh yeah, make the world a better place yeah one smile at a time i think yeah anyway uh oh sorry i was gonna press the button there to stop it and chloe just elbowed me out of the way yeah because you were just gonna lock it oh okay Anyway, take care, be good. Make good choices. Bye. 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 I can't press the stop. It won't stop, Chloe. Help. (laughs)